Role of Micronutrients Mineral Salts Mineral salts are necessary in the diet in small quantities. Table salt contains mainly sodium chloride. Many other mineral elements are obtained from various foodstuffs such as green vegetables and fruit. Some important mineral elements and the nutritional values are as follows. Calcium and phosphorus for strengthening the bones and the teeth. Calcium is also required in the process of clotting of blood. Phosphorus is required in various chemical processes such as in the production of chemical energy, ATP, during cell respiration. Rich sources are milk, meat, eggs, fish, pulses, vegetables, etc. Iron for forming hemoglobin. Its deficiency leads to anemia. Source, green leafy vegetables, liver, etc. Iodine for proper working of thyroid. Its deficiency leads to goiter. Source, vegetables, mineral water, etc. Potassium and sodium for cell permeability, especially in nerve cells. Source, most foods and table salt. Vitamins Vitamins are chemical substances needed in minute amounts which help maintain a healthy body. Most vitamins act as catalysts or enzymes in essential chemical changes in the body. But each vitamin has also some special function in our body. Vitamins are contained in foods naturally, but a couple of them are also synthesized in our body. Some vitamins like A, D, E and K are fat soluble and can be stored in the body for a longer period of time. But some others like B complex containing several vitamins named B1, B2 etc and C are water soluble and cannot be stored for a longer period of time. Absence or shortage of vitamins in diet over a continuous period causes deficiency diseases. Excess of vitamins may also be harmful. Excess water-soluble vitamins are easily excreted out. Water Water is indispensable. About two-thirds of our body weight is water. It serves several functions. It acts as a solvent in the body for thousands of substances, both organic and inorganic. It is used to produce digestive juices. It helps in the transportation of digested foods and oxygen throughout the body. It is used in the excretion of soluble wastes. It is involved in the maintenance of body temperature. Loss and replacement Water is regularly lost from the body through sweat, urine and as water vapor in breath. Therefore, it must be constantly replaced. The liquids we drink and our foods such as fruit and vegetables which we eat supply water to the body. Still, we should drink sufficient water every day. Roughage The indigestible portion of the food consisting largely of plant cellulose is known as roughage. 1. Roughage stimulates peristalsis and provides the bulk for the peristaltic movement of food along the large intestines. 2. It stimulates the secretions of the digestive tract. 3. Roughage also helps in the excretion of cholesterol and toxic metabolites.
Foods that provide roughage are fruits, grains, seeds, salads, and green leafy vegetables. If food does not move out easily along the intestines due to inadequate roughage in the diet, a condition called constipation arises. Balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? The food we normally eat in a day is our diet. For growth and maintenance of good health, our diet should have all the nutrients that our body needs in the right quantities. Is it not so? The diet should also contain a good amount of roughage and water. Such a diet is called a balanced diet. Do you think that people of all ages need the same type of diet? Do you also think what we need for a balanced diet would depend on the amount of physical work that we do? Pulses, ground nuts, soybean, sprouted seeds like moong, and Bengal gram, fermented foods like South Indian foods such as Italy's, a combination of flours like Missy roti, thepla made from cereals and pulses, banana, spinach, sattu, jaggery, available vegetables and other such foods provide many nutrients. Therefore, one can eat a balanced diet without expensive food materials. Calorie Requirements Category of People and their requirement of kilocalories per day. An adult laborer requires 3,500 kilocalories per day, while a clerk requires 1,800 to 2,500. A child of about 6 years requires 1,100 kilocalories daily, while an adult lying at rest requires 1,600. A woman at complete rest requires 1,450 kilocalories per day. Basal Metabolism The amount of energy expended by the body at rest in order to provide a minimal life-maintaining level of metabolism and functional activity is called basal metabolism. The basal metabolic rate, BMR, is evaluated at rest in a lying down position in the morning on a fasting stomach. The BMR is proportional to body surface, influenced by sex, age, height and body weight. Basal metabolism in men is higher than in women, higher in winter, than in summer, increased by physical activity, lower in muscular tissues than in internal organs, and greater in adults than in children.